heart, I still have a dream to see the things that I've never seen. There's a whole big world through that door. Just waiting for us to explore. It's not easy, but we have to try to spread our wings and learn to fly. It's another sunny day at Pine Tree Kindergarten. What will the kids get up to today? Good morning, children. Good morning! Good morning. Students, do you remember what day it is today? What day is it? Miss Olivia, huh? I know! I know, I know! Today is Little Teacher's Day! That is right! Today is Little Teacher's Day. You can take turns at being the teacher and teach your classmates some interesting new things. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Oh, no, I forgot what today was. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Huh? I'll read them a story! Who wants to be the first teacher for today? Teacher, me. pick me! Pick me! Briar, how about you? <laughs> be the first. Today's classes will all be taught by you. You may begin. Yeah! <clears throat> Classmates, I'll teach you how to choose the most delicious apples. Apples? Firstly, apples which are most delicious should be big and round. They must be red like this and have a little shine. And it's best if there are some little stripes on it. Look here. You can see the stripey stripes. Huh? Let me check. Yeah. And then you give the apple a sniff. The freshest, most delicious apples will have a sweet smell. Bramble? Huh? Bramble! <laughs> Briar, your apples lesson has made me really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this class will be taught by me. Classmates, do you know what this is? Eh? That's just a little pebble. That's right. But guys, have you ever seen a colorful one? Ta-da! Oh, that is cool. Huh. I bet they're not even real. You probably just painted them. Wow, this is super huh? cool. I <laughs> thought you'd like them. Ramble's class is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's my turn now. How about I teach you how to dance? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Non-princess, watch me carefully. Wave your left arm. Wave your left, left arm. arm. Bramble, that's your right arm. This one's the left. <laughs> and now wave your right arm. I did it right. And now we're gonna wiggle our bottoms and spin. Okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel a little dizzy. Ugh, class is over. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children. Ready? We're ready, teacher. In today's class, I will tell you my favorite story. This story what? is called A Tadpole Finds Its Mommy. Ahem. Spring has just arrived, and. Um, then what happens? Um, well, then the ice. It's easy, uh, Nick. Just skip the hard words, then it'll be okay. The mommy wakes up after her long winter's nap. And, uh, wait, no. Uh, first, she is on. Hang on. Wait, but what happened to the ice? And whose mommy wakes up? Uh, maybe it's the. the, uh, the frog mommy. Uh, frog mommy jumps. Uh, jumps out of the water. Uh, and jumps into. Uh. onto. the. She gives birth to lots of little round black things. <laughs> That's the end. 
you. Hope you like the story. What? That's the end. Mm. Mm. But I didn't really understand it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But Vic explained everything pretty clear. No, he didn't. I couldn't understand either. It made no sense huh? to me. I have an idea. I could teach you guys something else. But uh, what could I teach you? I know. Huh? You could teach us something about the world of human beings. Huh? That's a great idea. In the human world, there are lots of houses and big, long, wide roads. This is where the cars go, and they huh? drive really fast. Uh -huh. And in the sky, there are planes. They can fly. Hmm. Wow! Yeah. That plane is big. Sure is. They're ginormous. I don't buy huh? it. The plane is huge. How can it be thrown into the sky? That's simple. A superhero must throw it. No, no, no. Planes have big engines. You don't throw them. Well, then, how does it get up there? Well, we just see. Teach you Vic. Huh? I know. I know the answer. I think that the plane is a bit like hoo hoo, all covered in feathers. And then it has two big wings, and that's why it can fly. That's not right. I know how it works. It's giants who throw the planes up into the sky. Watch, I'll show you. Hey. <laughs> I think the planes must have blades on top like this, and so that's why they can fly. <laughs> oh, it didn't fall. And so, am I right or what? Mm -hmm. No way, no way. It's giants who throw it. Hey, <laughs> guys, huh? I still think that the planes are kind of like birds. No, it's the giants. No way, it's the blades. They are birds. It's the giants. It's the blades. They are birds. Giants. It's the blades. No, they are giants. It's the blades. Well, stop it, huh? guys. Why don't we just ask our teacher for the right answer? <laughs> I don't know the answer either. Well, uh... Mm, mm, okay, the answer is... Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. No idea. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Hmm? Vic. Mm -mm. Vic, huh? you seem unhappy. Miss Olivia, being a teacher is really, really hard. <laughs> why don't you tell me why it's hard being a teacher? Hmm. At first, I wanted to tell a story. But there were lots of big words. It was confusing. And then they were asking me all sorts of questions. Hmm. I didn't even know how to answer them. <laughs> but why did you use a storybook that you are not familiar I, with? I forgot today was Little Teacher's Day. So it was all I had. Vic, did you know that before each and every class, your teachers spend time to prepare? Oh, really? Hmm, I've got it. Thanks, Miss Olivia. I think I know what to do. Yes, this one. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Hello? Hello? It works! Kiki, this is yours. Oh, uh, Vic, please tell us, why is this? <laughs> In this class, I will teach you how to play telephone. What's a play telephone? A play telephone is like Ernie Joe's big ear, so you can hear your friends, even if you're in different places. Look, huh? my big ear! Wow, awesome! Hey, Vic, please teach us. I can't wait. Okay, first, we put the cotton thread through the bamboo cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, at this end, we tie on a little stick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do this so the thread connects to the cup. <laughs> Just like this. Easy peasy. Uh -huh. But how can we talk to people with it? Huh? Well, you'll soon find out. <laughs> huh? Kiki, I'll take this cup into the cave. 
You put the other cup next to your ear and listen, and then see if you can hear me talking. I almost forgot! Make sure you pull the string tight! Huh? Uh, I don't hear anything. Oh. Three blind uh -huh. mice! Three uh -huh. blind mice! Huh? I can't believe I can run. really hear them! <laughs> <Help> <laughs> <you run. laughs> Vic! Vic! This play telephone is really fun! But wait a sec. How exactly does this phone thing work? Well, the sound travels along the thread and makes vibration. Mm. That vibration goes into our ear as sound. Now I understand. Hey, Vic, you are super yeah. smart. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> Let's try out this play telephone. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Miss Olivia. Well done, Vic. You make a great teacher. <laughs> Next time, I'll make sure I'm more prepared. Then I can teach my classmates even more things. <laughs> Hi there, friends! If you got to be a teacher, what would you teach? Did you like the play telephone that Vic taught us to make? Maybe you can give it a go and make one! Bye-bye!